Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember to support, please subscribe. Tonight on Tudor Tinder, have we got a treat for you. Our first man looking for love is feisty. He's tempestuous and he is one hell of a ladies man. All the way from Greenwich, England, it's Henry Tudor, also known as King Henry VIII. Henry tells us he wants a woman that he can marry. But his only caveat is that he also wants a son to make heir to his throne. We asked Henry why he chose Tudor Tinder and he told us that he just can't seem to find the right woman. I'm single, ready to mingle with any particular lady at court and I have more mistresses than Francois of France of course. Well we attended the field of the cloth of gold but I more have a heart of gold if I'm honest. Divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, beheaded, survive. I have a 54 inch waist and I'm always known to be packing a few extra inches. I also need a woman to massage my ulcers, if you know what I'm saying. How about you be my baby mummy and be the love of my life? I'm a lover of all women, all things, but not French. And please, 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 I am an expert decision maker. So I'm a man who's very cultured and I love my ladies. I asked a jester at court yesterday what I should have on my Tinder profile and he suggested a few spiffing jokes. He said, why couldn't Henry VIII breathe? Allegedly because I had no heir. Mm. He also suggested, what did Henry VIII say to his kids when they were eating? Tudor food. Ha ha. And also, apparently there's this mysterious frog that emerged in the 21st century or the 20th century called Kermit. And apparently he said, what does Kermit the Frog and Henry VIII have in common? Apparently we share the same middle name. That jester didn't last long. And he is currently lying six feet under after being hanged, drawn and quartered. However, I'm ready to meet these lucky ladies. Right then, let's have a look at these lovely ladies, shall we? Who's going to be our first lucky contestant? Up first we have... Dun, dun, dun! Catherine of Aragon. She's a Spanish princess and Henry's brother's widow. Catherine has achieved the position of the first female ambassador in European history and she is a dedicated Roman Catholic and her favourite fruit is pomegranates. Catherine now has a few words that she would like me to say. She is a woman scorned. She's a big fan of the Pope and no brothers please. She's got Spanish flair and can perform a mean flamenco. And piety and respect are her go-to motto. <gasps> ding, ding, ding! Our first lady has won the affections of our king. But, oh, what's this? Um, it appears we have a slight glitch. Henry wants to return Catherine, but I'm afraid we can't do that. Oh, and now he's gone and defied the Pope. Um, hello, is this place open? I would like to return my wife, please. What do you mean you don't do refunds? Fine, I'll just have to find another way. What happens if I defy the Pope? He wouldn't let me either. Oh, fudge it. Let's see what happens. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for round two? Our next contestant is... Dun, 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 Anne Boleyn. Anne is fluent in French and will keep you on your toes. She reckons that good things come to those who wait. And she was educated in the Netherlands. She is a lover of archery, falconry, riding and hunting. And she's a few words that she would like me to say. Her mind is as sharp as a Frenchman's swords and heads will roll with her looks. Her wit will make you heaver. And do you want to see her sixth finger? She's flexible and can perform the split. Split from the Catholic Church. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Looks like we have another winner. Oh dear. Henry has just been in contact again. He says that our algorithm is broken and that we keep sending him wives who can't give him a son. Oh. Your algorithm is clearly broken. I demand a refund for wasting my time. The last two have not given me the only thing I wanted. 
No refunds? Then I guess I best get my French swordsman from Calais. Oh, ouch. Looks like Anne lived up to her promise. Her head did roll. Oh, nasty. Poor Anne. Okay, so now we have Henry back here at our studio and he is looking for lucky lady number three. How many times does this man need to use our service? Oh, I think he heard me. Anyway, right you lovely lot, our next contestant is... Dun dun dun! Jane Seymour. She prefers needlework and household management, but can read and write a little. She makes a wonderful maid of honour and is always praised for her peaceful and gentle nature and a beautiful woman with great child-bearing abilities. <laughs> Jane has a few words she'd like me to say. She is the most loved. She's the rose amongst the thorns and can give a man what he wants. But she's the innocent one and you can always see more. Ding, ding, ding! Looks like Henry and Jane are going to be together for a long time. I can see it now. Henry VIII and his three wives. Oh, look at that. I've just had word that Henry and Jane have had a baby boy. Ah, oh, how lovely. Oh, darn. What a shame. Uh, I'm sorry to inform you all that, um, unfortunately, poor Jane has died after experiencing complications linked to the birth of her son. I think Henry will just mourn the loss of his wife and uh, raise his son on his own. She was the only one I've truly ever loved. And now she's gone. Right, who for me to have next? Oh, OK. Right, I see. Right, folks, um, Henry is back and this time he's looking for something a bit further afield. He's asked me that we increase his location services to include... dum dum da. Germany. So, ladies and gentlemen, our next lady is the beautiful Anne of Cleves. Anne is a little rusty with her English, but she would like me to say that she ain't no mare of Flanders. Hashtag rich bitch. Hashtag big dowry. And she is the catfish queen. Ding, ding, ding. Looks like we have ourselves a winner. Henry is excited to meet Anne and tells me he plans on this being the last time he'll see us. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay. Oh my God, he's back. It's not even six months and he is back. Says we played him, that we enabled Anne to catfish him and he wants a refund on our service. Um, sorry, Henry, did you not read the fine print? I'm pretty sure you signed the terms and conditions. You lied. You and your painter lied. You said she was beautiful, but she is nothing fair and had very evil smells about her. Hashtag catfish. OK, Henry. One last time, yeah? Our next contestant is Catherine Howard. Catherine tells us she can play a number of instruments. A wink, wink. She's young, free and single-ish. You can still hear her scream at Hampton Court and she was last seen facing an axeman on Tower Green. She also says she's Thomas's girl, depending on who's asking. Ding, 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 we have a winner! But what's this I'm hearing? Catherine isn't as squeaky clean as Henry had hoped. And, oh, this again. Oh, Henry, why are you so mean? Poor Catherine. It looks as though Catherine has been executed by means of beheading. And as... You gave me used goods. I wanted a virgin queen, not some adulterous woman. I mean, maybe I should have guessed from her skills, but now look what you've made me do. If you had done your job, then I wouldn't have had to kill another bride. You better give me someone better this time. And as you guessed it... Henry is back for more. Looks like he just can't live a life as a single Pringle. OK, folks, our final contestant is a lovely lady who has had her fair share of life experience. She's smart and all for girl power. Please put your hands together for... Catherine Parr. 
She's a religious reformer with a quick-thinking mouth. She says her husbands have a habit of dying. A wink, wink. Hashtag educated, hashtag girl power, and hashtag survivor. Ding, ding, ding. Will Catherine be Henry's final wife, I hear you ask? Well, it looks like Catherine survived, and Henry this time was the one to die. I wonder if Henry would have been back if he was alive. Had a fantastic contestant lined up for him, you see. Looks like our lovely Catherine Willoughby will have to wait till our next show. Okay, folks, that's it for tonight. But join us next time for another episode of Tudor Tinder. Thank you for watching and support. Please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.